3D morphing models were introduced at SIGGRAPH 99, and today we present an in-depth survey paper covering all different components of the field. In this presentation, we want to give you a brief overview over the general idea behind 3D morphing models, as well as some highlights of the last 20 years. Morphing models are a vector space representation of a class of objects. Each individual face is represented by a shape vector S and a texture vector T. We can form linear combinations to generate new objects. Often, principal component analysis is deployed to find the main axis of variation. The main application of 3D morphing models is 3D face reconstruction from a single image. This is an ill-posed problem and the morphing model restricts the solution space to morphologically plausible faces. The idea of analysis by synthesis is to use computer graphics to synthesize an image that is as similar as possible to the target image. To reconstruct the face this way, we aim to find the optimal rendering, shape, texture and illumination parameters. The result you can see here are from the original SIGGRAPH 99 paper. In our survey paper, we discuss all different components of a 3D morphing model, like the 3D capture setups that were developed. The setup you can see here is a light stage that can capture diffuse and specular albedo separately. We also discuss how a 3D morphing model can be derived from such face captures, including registration and modeling techniques. The models you can see here are publicly available and contain identity, expression, as well as albedo variation. A main focus of the community over the years was to improve the 3D reconstruction from 2D images. The results you can see here are achieved by DECA, a method also presented at this year's SIGGRAPH. Especially the new possibilities of deep learning methods enabled several breakthroughs on the modeling side as well as on the model adaptation side. On the left, you can see a nonlinear morphing model, including facial, facial expressions, trained with an adversarial loss. On the right, you can see the first implicit morphing model, which also includes hairs and drops the strong correspondence assumption. Towards the end of our survey, we share our ideas on future directions and ask the questions how faces will be modeled in 10 or 20 years. Throughout the paper, we not only include an in-depth review on the current state of the art, but also the current limitation of each sub-challenge. If you want to hear more about our survey paper, we invite you to watch our full presentation that contains more details on each section. We hope you enjoyed this brief overview. We also hope that you will enjoy reading the survey paper. Together with the paper, we started a list of shared resources around 3D morphing models on GitHub. We intend to keep this list up to date and we are looking forward to your contribution. If you are interested to hear about events or all kind of announcements in the community, please join our Google group.